Hello, what's up friends? Welcome back to the channel. This is Austin Code Cypher back again with another brand new video on web development. So today specifically we are going to be looking at CSS. You're going to see how you can use the classes, IDs, different selectors, how you can select elements from the HTML and apply style to them using CSS. So yeah, that's what you're going to be playing around with. So I'm going to start by creating a folder on this desktop new then folder and I'm going to call it CSS tutorial so mainly this is going to be for the beginners so maybe if you're already experienced you can go pass on and go to other tutorials but in case if you want to refresh your mind and yeah see how everything started when you also still a beginner and yeah catch up with us so we have created this folder called css and here i have my text editor it's called sublime text so what i'm going to do is i'm going to carry this folder but let me not confuse you let us do it the easiest way we're going to be inside this text editor called let me first remove it so what you will do come to file and say open folder so you'll be redirected go to the desktop where you save that folder and it's here called css tutorial select it and also click select folder so our folder has been selected this is it so right click on the folder and say file click on file so we are going to be saving our file on your keyboard place ctrl s so we are saving a file so it's going to be inside this folder as you can see the root directory is we on the desktop on the desktop we are inside this css tutorial folder now write index let's put it in lowercase index dot html so this is the file we have created as you can see it is inside this folder of css tutorial what you are going to do let's create a quick html document here so the bit with sublime text you just need to write what i have written and place enter and it will give us the basic structure of our html so the title is going to be css tutorial So CSS tutorial save that and in sublime text you just have to right click and say open in browser so if in case you are not using this text editor but you are following using another text editor you can go on to the directory or to the folder where you wrote or you save this file and right click on it and it will definitely open up in the browser default browser where it is being saved from so let's wait for it to load it's not responding let's first give it time as i explained to you guys now this is the basic structure of our html and there is no css there's nothing so what you are going to do we are going to put them in the same directory so let's do like this right click again and say new file ctrl s on your keyboard so we are saving and we are going to write style dot css so this is user defined you can name it anything you want like country dot css box dot css so it's custom or user defined so for me i've named it style dot css and save so you will see we are having now two files inside this parent folder of css tutorial we are having the html and index and you are seeing here this is our folder it has this is our file it has finally opened and it's having this title of css tutorial as you can see it's the title we gave it here so yeah that's html now let's create some 
h1 here is going to be CSS tutorial CSS tutorial and I'm going to create some fake paragraphs so you can go to in this sublime text you just have to write it along and place enter and they will give you this fake paragraph so when you save you will now get these two h1 and this paragraph so in case you are not using this and you are not able to get this realm place window button on your keyboard and R at the same time and you get this run box and type in win word in case you have the win word or microsoft document place ok enter and i'm going to show you how you can create some fake document and yeah use it as paragraphs in your project so we have not yet started even our css i'm trying to show you how you can come out with some fake paragraphs so what you have to do right equal sign and write run open brackets parenthesis say 4 comma and 5 so you can write any number but make sure you separate them with a comma and press enter and you get some fake document here so you may use these as paragraphs in your project so that's how you can now get some fake paragraphs and use them in this project and here we just write the p tag and paste the text we got from our Microsoft Word document so save it and you shall get this so what we are going to do first let's wrap this into the div with an ID of wrapper and we also now close this so they are all inside this parent div with the class of wrapper with the ID of wrapper sorry so finally this is what we are having now let's start talking about what has brought us here so all of this it's HTML there's nothing big we have done that's only HTML there's no styling and as you can see it's just a skeleton without bones so when we had <laughs> without a body so when we had CSS that's when it will give styling to our web page so how do you use CSS in your project or web page now there are different ways like for but for this tutorial if time is on our side I'm going to try to cover them all now let's start with the easiest one the easiest one is called the inline styling or inline CSS so what they call inline you write it in the opening opening tag that's where you put your styling let's say we want to give this h1 the color of red what you have to do is write style it's a style attribute and say equals and open this double quotes and write color oh sorry this is not where it's supposed to be equals color put full colon and say red and don't forget the semicolon so whenever I write it never forget the semicolon so this is what they call the inline styling or inline CSS you put it in the opening tag and all the styling or rule will be applied to that element and this element is h1 and when you save this our h1 will turn to red and as you can see our h1 is now red so that's what they call the inline styling and remember I told you let me first I'm going to comment some here so
so we have inline inline styling we have internal we have external and also we have import when we are going to import it from somewhere else what else so as we go on I'll tell you also other lurings how we can use this now first of all I have shown you the inline styling so you write the code with the element on the same line but you have to place it in the opening tag now let's talk about the internal styling or style sheet so for the internal style sheet you have to come here in the head section so you're seeing this opening head section and closing section make sure your internal styling is in between these two tags the opening head head tag and closing head tag so you come here and write style and automatically this text editor will give you the syntax so write style the type will be text and css so you are telling the browser yeah this is going to be css but i've seen many guys when they're using internal they don't include this but guys let me tell you this it's not evil write it and it won't be rejected when you apply in a css so i guess some guys are just saving space but for this case as a beginner you are free to leave it there and yeah nothing bad will happen to your code it will still execute now as you saw here we use the inline now for the internal this is what you are supposed to be doing these are the only tags you have to write the opening tag style with this attribute of type text forward slash css and close it with this style with a forward slash so let's say you want to give all the paragraphs here the color of green so here you're going to select this is called the selector so p we are selecting the paragraphs and open the curly brackets and the property is going to be color so color will be the property so this one is the selector and this one is the property then we set the value so the value will be green so save it and every paragraph on the page will be green as you can see all of the stuff is green so basically that's the basic css knowledge i can give you guys if you're a beginner as i say this one is a selector this one is a property and this one is the value you are giving to that element so here we are selecting the element with a paragraph called a paragraph and we are setting a property to it with this value of green guys i'll see you in the next tutorial when we are styling these simple paragraphs and h1 basically after all the css tutorial we shall create some mini project for you guys peace subscribe to the channel like the video and i'll see you in the next tutorial